You know, somebody mentioned that he wore pink when he shouldn't be wearing pink. You know, somebody mentioned that, you know, he danced whenever he wanted. Rather than most of us here, we dance when nobody is looking or we can blend in with the crowd, right? Martin danced when everybody was looking and he didn't care, right? That's how he lived his life. Martin did things that most of us would never even dream of doing, would never even dare ourselves to do because we were too embarrassed, too ashamed. And that's what he made me realize, is that we need to live life the way he lived life. Live at the fullest every day. Martin was truly a great friend. He was 100% himself all the time. He didn't care what people thought of him because he was one of the only guys that would ever wear bright neon, neon shirts with colored pants and his vest. I believe we all have a purpose on this earth and I also believe that God put Martin on this, on this earth to show us how to live life to the fullest. And now I know that God took Martin back home because it's safe to say that Martin did his job here on earth. This is God's child, and he let us raise him. He gave us the honor and the privilege and the trust to raise a really great young man. And I'm not mad at God, because I know that it was his child, and it was his time to take his child back. Don't get me wrong, every day has been difficult. <laughs> Not hearing him come through that door. Not being able to give him that hug. Not being able to say good morning, good night, physically. But I will tell you, I have been feeling him's presence thanks to God. And God reminds me that just because he's not here physically, He's still here spiritually.